हेलो फ्रेंड्स अगेन आई एम बैक विथ अनाटमी राइट नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू डील विथ ऑल द पार्ट्स अगेन इन डिटेल ईच एंड एवरी पार्ट विच आई हैव मिस्ड एंड इवेन विच हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड सो आई स्टार्टेड इट फ्रॉम द स्टार्टिंग एंड फ्रॉम टू डे आई वुड लाइक टू अपलोड एवरी डे वन टॉपिक फ्रॉम अनाटमी फ्रॉम एवरी अदर सब्जेक्ट सो Uh, right now, I would like to start again with thorax. I mean, with upper limb, basically, uh, so that I would uh, like to complete those which I have missed. Because if I have to go again with those which I have missed, it might be a problem for me and problem for you too. So I would like to upload from now. From this has a uh, playlist. So first, I would like to deal with pectoral region. Which is which starts where we start our dissection dissection mainly from our pectoral region. So, uh, in this lesson, I would like to deal with some aspects of pectoral region, which is an introduction for the upper limb, which may take one month or so. I really don't know. So, uh, if you want any topic in detail, you may you can uh, just mail me or give a comment there. so first let us start with the uh, upper limb their pectoral region so has we read everything first we have to read the surface landmarks uh, which are present and which are seen in the pectoral region which will basically suffice today's class right now um so i would like to draw the person so both mostly i'll just say by drawing instead of uh, writing everything because uh, anatomy is just if you learn it and if you imagine it you can learn everything i may not be the best uh, artist but i can help you in this way so Don't worry. From the next class, I'll draw it before hand, and then I would explain you. That would be like it would save your time. In fact, okay. okay. This is very small diagram, so I just draw it. Fine. So first, uh, if we come to the surface landmarks, I would like I would I would discuss each and every surface landmark in detail. So the first surface landmark will be the clavicle. this clavicle mainly lies it is horizontal you can see and it is at the root of the neck this will be the neck and this is the chest so this will be at the root of the neck this bone is subcutaneous and you can feel your clavicle first try to feel it it is a horizontal bone which can be felt very easily so medially it articulates with sternum this is called as sternoclavicular joint and laterally it articulates with the humerus and mainly acromion process of uh, uh, scapula basically not humerus yeah it mainly articulates with the acromion process of the scapula so this is acromioclavicular joint both these joints are palpable uh, very easily you can just try it you can easily palpable your both the sternoclavicular joint and the acromioclavicular joint and this is the first landmark the second landmark is jugular notch this jugular notch is present uh, just in between the two medial ends of the clavicle this is one clavicle this will be other clavicle so this part is a uh, jugular notch right it lies between the two uh, medial ends of the clavicle and above the superior border of the sternum basically and the third one is sternal angle this sternal angle it is about 5 cm below the jugular notch it is mainly uh, the place where manubrium 
joins with the body of the sternum what are all these you will learn det in detail when we start with our bones which will be dealt after we deal with this pectoral region so this is the manubrio sternum manubrio sternal joint which is nothing but sternal angle right the next one is the epigastric fossa this epigastric fossa is the infrasternal angle so this is a zygoid process so sternum basically has mainly three parts one is manubrium body of the sternum oh sorry okay what have kept it no yeah now it's fine right you can see everything i'm sorry i didn't see that fine uh, this uh, sternum has mainly three parts one is the body of the sternum I mean, manubrium next body of the sternum and the zygoid process so this place where the where there is zygoid process just above it there is epigastric fossa right this is a place where there is it is called as pit of the stomach this is mainly this one we will learn whenever we learn stomach basically but this is seen over here which is the fourth landmark which is epigastric fossa the fifth landmark is nipple this nipple is basically variable in both males and females it is basically present in males and immature females it is present at fourth intercostal space what is this intercostal space and everything we will deal in detail don't worry this is nipple and sixth one is mid clavicular line this is basically an imaginary line this imaginary line is drawn uh, just in i mean just at the middle of the clavicle uh it is just at the middle of the clavicle is the first landmark and the second landmark is ninth costal cartilage through this if you draw a line this is a mid clavicular line this is ninth sternal ninth costal cartilage you can feel your ninth costal cartilage really very easily so what is mid clavicular line is it is line between middle of clavicle to tip of ninth costal cartilage next the seventh one is infra clavicular fossa so what is fossa fossa is a uh, type of cavity you can feel your intra clavicular fossa it will be just below this right it is a triangular depression mainly present at the junction of lateral third and middle thirds of the clavicle it is just present here right this is infra clavicular fossa and the eighth one is tip of coracoid process coracoid process is present in the scapula so this is the tip of coracoid process i'm sorry coracoid process right this is the coracoid process which is present in the scapula all this we will see with demonstrations in our next class and the ninth one is acromion of scapula and the ten, this acromion of scapula i will uh, show you whenever you I mean in your acromion thing sorry it's a small mistake this is acromion of scapula this is coracoid of scapula this thing is coracoid of scapula this is acromion of scapula 
I'm really sorry. Fine. And the tenth one and the last one is axilla. Axilla is nothing but the armpit. And the final one, I'm sorry, it's final one is mid axillary line. So this is the line which you draw at the middle of the axilla. But all these lines and things I'll uh, deal to you in detail in our next future coming classes. All these are the surface landmarks of pectoral region which you will be dealing here. And tomorrow I will uh, deal with breast. Uh, tomorrow first starting I'll deal with superficial fascia and later I'll deal with breast. I'm not sure breast will be covered mostly in the after tomorrow's class which is the biggest topic and the most important topic which uh, you expect in your exam most probably. Uh, so this is the pectoral region. Uh, so these are the surface landmarks. <coughs> in our next class I will deal in detail about the next aspects. Uh, if you want any changes in the way of teaching or anything you can comment please uh, don't forget to comment while uh, after you have watched the video okay bye